Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Bi-Weekly Contest 83, number of zero filled subarrays. So this one, I, I think it's very easy to misread, um, but it is just subarrays, so it's just about counting the math. And here, the first thing to notice is that, of course, if you have anything not zero, then you, know, you break it. But what happens when you have a string of zeros? How do you do the count? Well, how, how do you do the count is try to figure out um, how many ways are there for one component, right? And the way to do that is just by, and this is kind of fundamental uh, combatronics, uh, combatorics, but, but I would say these kind of things I find don't really come up on interviews, at least in, in, in the US. Uh, I know that certain countries and they're always uh, the online assessments are a little bit weird but yeah but the idea here is that okay so let's say you have a string of n x's and zeros right so what are we doing well we're trying to find basically a sub array of length x um and here and what that means what is or how many sub arrays are there right well for a, a certain string of zeros you need a start point and an end point right that's basically the idea is that, okay, you have a start thing and an end thing. Well, how many places are there to put S and how many places are there to put E, right? Well, here then it's going to be N plus one choose two. Why? Because here, for example, there's six zeros. You can think about, you can, you can imagine that there's seven slots, one to put an S and one to put a E, and wherever you put them, you have one string, and there's going to be n plus one choose two, which is, you know, the formula, right? Um, but yeah, but that's basically the idea, and that's basically what I do here, is that I have a total, and then for each, I group it by the thing, and then for each length of the list, if x is to zero, which we care about, then we add it by... Uh, n plus one or choose two, um, yeah. So the the f one additional so that's pretty straightforward ish. This is going to be linear time. Uh, I I kind of you know just go by to to cheat the timing a little bit. Um, but one thing that you might think about, especially if you're not using Python, though I think maybe on other languages it would kind of hint it away with a long long. Um, is that you might have to think about overflow, but but you may ask why don't we need the mod or anything like that? Well, because this is going to be n choose two and n choose two, or in the worst case, it's going to n plus one choose two, which is going to be roughly speaking n square, and because n is going to be ten to the fifth, and most it'll be ten to the ten over two or something like this. But but you know roughly th that element, so that that is less than the sixty four bit int, so that is going to be good. So these are things that you should. Definitely remind yourself, that, especially during the contest. Um, but yeah, this is going to be linear time, constant space, kind of. I guess I take, I think maybe here it makes it linear space, but but you could also write it in a way that's constant time. Oh, sorry, linear time, constant space. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. Uh, you could watch me do this during the contest now. Oof, that's where I get wrong on that one too. Okay. 
hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, these farms. I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, good mental health, and goodbye.